Well, 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 welcome back. And today we're talking about a movie. Well, not just any movie. No, this is my favorite movie. And not just like kinda. I mean, my favorite movie of all time. Now I'm going to get this out of the way right now. Super is one of my favorite movies of all time. And I truly believe it's one of the best superhero movies I've ever seen. But I also know it's not a good movie. I know that there's a difference between what I think is the best superhero movie and what makes a really good movie. We're going to start by talking about the cast and the star power that this movie has because it's fucking loaded. Then the story will be covered. Now, I do want everyone to watch this movie at some point either before you watch this or after you watch this. So if you want it spoiler free, you should probably go watch it before. With that being said, let's get into this. Let's look at the cast. First off, starting right away with an absolute banger. We have James Gunn directing and writing this. And now I know what you're thinking. That can't be the same James Gunn and who made the space raccoon people. You're wrong. It is. This guy's the same guy who did Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, and he's gonna do number 3. He's that guy. He also did the Belko experiment, and a bunch of other stuff that is a listed, but does it really matter? He did Guardians of the Galaxy, and you know it. Next, we have our lead actor, Rain Wilson. He's known for Jaws. He was in Cooties. That was a thing at one point. Um, my super ex-girlfriend. That's a thing. He was in Juno. Juno's a really good movie. And then he was also some kind of actor on a specific TV show. I can't remember. I think, uh, I don't know. He did something with the Minions at one point, something like that. Either way, he's pretty popular. And then right next to him with his co-star, Elliot Page. Elliot Page was right with him in Juno. You know, I wonder how that happened. She was also an X-Men and she was an in Inception. So she's pretty, you know, she's pretty well known. She knows what she's doing. And then our villain, oh, our villain, Kevin Bacon. How do you get Kevin Bacon in this movie? He's in Footloose, The Woodsman, this movie, and his last name's Bacon. You know how much more money you get just for having that name? Then, oh, you thought we were done with Guardian of the Galaxy people? Uh-uh, Michael Rooker's in this movie and he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. That means something. Sean Gunn, you know, James Gunn, little brother, in this movie as well, also a part of Suicide Squad, and you'll never guess, he was also in Guardians of the Galaxy. Can you believe that? This is just Guardians of the Galaxy point, uh, 1.0, before that. Next, we have Rob Zombie. Everyone knows Rob Zombie, for at least something, but he's the writer of Halloween, Grindhouse, The Lords of Salem, and that one uh, Lil Uzi poster that he liked a lot from that interview that everyone knows the meme of. Lil Uzi, a Rob Zombie poster. If I could watch the whole movie here, I would. However, I can't, but that doesn't mean I can't talk about how passionately and how much I love this movie. Frank, our protagonist, is something most heroes aren't in movies. He's beyond awkward. He hesitates every decision he makes. His facial expressions conveys the thought behind every word as it comes out. Frank goes through a journey that heroes typically don't go through. His journey, while centered around him saving the woman he loves, is about finding love for himself. Frank, since his childhood, was given resentment, being abused by his father, cheated on throughout high school, and having his wife leave him for a man who didn't even care for her. This movie portrays toxic love in a simple yet effective way. Frank's wife, Sarah, was a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. She eventually became sober and fell in love with Frank, getting married, until she grew apart from him, relapsing and getting into drugs again, leaving him for Jacques, the antagonist, a drug dealer who didn't care about her at all, proving this by using her to close a deal, allowing a client to forcefully have his way with her. She believes, though, that Jacques loves her since she is being given drugs that make her feel good. Frank, still madly in love with her, saves her from Jacques, becoming the Crimson Bolt. He believes he needs to save her, that he is the one chosen by God to save her and live happily with her. But Frank comes to the realization that all because you save someone doesn't mean you're the chosen one. All because you save someone doesn't mean you aren't in need of saving yourself. Frank hates himself. He believes he isn't worthy of love after Sarah leaves him as he only valued his worth by her being in his life. Going through stages of hating his appearance and crying while looking at himself in the mirror, 
Frank believes he can't even own a pet rabbit as he might mess it up. Frank might be a character only to be a funny laugh within a movie that was meant as a joke as a whole, but it doesn't mean he doesn't represent a lesson we can all learn from. Self-love is a love we all must have. You can only be as strong as your heart for yourself. Saving Sarah helped Frank realize what he did throughout the movie is his value. He was valued by his community for stopping muggings, child rapists, and drug dealings, and overall just a cartel all on his own. He knows while carrying Sarah out on his arms that she doesn't need him. She needs a good man, and that's okay. Frank doesn't need Sarah. Frank needs to love life with the one person who is always there, himself. Super, while a simple title and very self-explanatory, still doesn't fully explain what Frank did that makes him so super. The definition of super is an article or a product of superior size, quality, or grade. When someone hears the word super, they usually think of Superman, Captain America, Batman, Spider-Man, someone with immense strength or uncomparable morals. Someone so strong that we can only imagine horrors that could break them. Frank is none of those people, and by definition, he isn't that at all. Frank isn't small, I mean he's 6'2", but... A man who's super doesn't usually have a low-key dad bod. He doesn't have any powers or any lovable characteristics in which we root for him. As an audience, if anything, we actually pity him until the third act. As the movie finally comes to a close, he can have the closure in which he has done something extraordinary. He has saved lives. He has beaten the odds. He has learned to be happy with himself. Something we all as humans not only struggle with, but desire. Something heroes like Batman, Wolverine, and others may never truly find. Frank achieved something they couldn't. Something many of us unfortunately may never. Frank has done something truly super. You don't butt in line! You don't sell drugs! You don't molest little children! You don't profit on the misery of others! The rules were set a long time ago! They don't change! Jager then! As you may know, September is National Suicide Prevention Month. If you or anyone you know is struggling, don't hesitate to call the National Prevention Hotline or reach out to a family member or a loved one. We all aren't Superman, Batman, or even Frank, but we can all save someone and help love each other. Someone is happy you're here. Keep going, and thank you all for watching. Have a great day.